Today, I am here to explain few Nimhans Amphil Clinical Psychology entrance model questions. Let's begin. Question number one. Sobhit has been immobile for the past two years. In fact, he keeps both arms up in the air for two hours. Sobhit has been diagnosed with option one, somatoform disorder, option two, paranoid schizophrenia, option three, disorganized schizophrenia and option 4 catatonic schizophrenia just try to answer these questions the correct answer is catatonic schizophrenia because catatonic schizophrenia is characterized by the period of wild excitement or period of rigid prolonged immobility the person can remain in the same frozen posture for hours Paranoid schizophrenia is characterized by hallucination and delusion and disorganized schizophrenia is marked by bizarre idea and confused speech. That's why our correct answer is catatonic schizophrenia. Question number two, the type of physiological activity in person to a stressor known as fill in the blanks is the extent to which a person's heart rate, blood pressure and stress hormone secretion increases. And your option is the first option, learn helplessness. Second option, type A behavior pattern. Option three, fight or flight response. Option four, physiological reactivity. And the correct answer is physiological reactivity. Physiological reactivity is the body's response to a stressor. There are several different indicators of physiological reactivity such as changes from baseline in heart rate, heart rate variability, systonic blood pressure, diastonic blood pressure and body temperature. Question number third. In contrast to the cones, option one, Rods function mainly in night vision. Rods are concentrated in the fovea. Option 3. Rods produce color images as well as black and white images. And option 4. Rods are connected to bipolar cell in one to one ratio. And the correct answer is rod function mainly in night vision. Rod are more sensitive to light than cones and respond to very dim light to which cones cannot respond. Due to this sensitivity, rod function mainly in night vision. They also produce only black and white images. So, in very simple manner, we can say rod are responsible for night vision and cones are responsible for color vision. So, when you want to see any image in detail, if you want to see precise vision, you must have good amount of light, right? So if any object is in good light, you can see those images, those particular object with more detail in comparison of when that particular object will be in darkness or less light. Question number four, part of the brain which coordinate muscles movement on the two side of the body is the first option hypothalamus option two medulla option three cerebellum option four pons and the correct answer is can you guess the correct answer the correct answer is pons the person is an area of the head brain containing a large number of nerve fiber which pass through it and make connection between the two hemispheres and coordinating muscles movement on the two sides of the body, the pons also contain the nerve center that aid in regulation of breathing. So the correct answer is pons. Our fifth question is, which of the following is an endocrine gland controlling growth and stimulating other endocrine glands? Your option is adrenal, pituitary, thyroid, Parathyroid, you need to choose your correct answer on the basis of these four options. And I know uh, this particular question is very easy, so you can guess. The correct answer is pituitary gland. 
the pituitary gland is a t sized gland that is attached to the bottom of hypothalamus it secretes a large number of hormones some of which function to stimulate other endocrine gland including somatotropin somatotropin is a kind of growth hormones that's why uh, pituitary is the correct answer question number 6th the reticular formation of the brain the reticular formation of the brain option 1 has definite boundaries option 2 is critical for wakefulness and alertness option number 3 can only be activated by certain stimuli option number 4 is important for conveying precise information and the correct answer is is critical for wakefulness and alertness right reticular formation is critical for wakefulness and alertness the reticular formation is critical for wakefulness and alertness uh, we can say reticular formation is a kind of relay system so when they get information from other part of the body they decide and they distribute those information to the different part of the cortex so when there will be more stimulation in the reticular formation in that condition individual can feel wakefulness with less activation less activity in the reticular formation is associated with sleepiness the question number 7th is memory retrieval is enhanced when a person is the same situation when the person is in the same situation or environment as during learning this is called option number 1 elaborative rehearsal option number 2 state dependent learning option number 3 flash bulb memory and option number 4 is memory consolidation can you guess the correct answer correct answer is state dependent learning state dependent learning effect have been noted in comparison of happy and sad mood with or without alcohol and even or under water versus on land learning of a scuba diver i can simplify this right the concept is when we learn certain kind of information in a certain situation the chances will be high to recall those information in the same situation so suppose that if you learned something when you was drunk so most probably and chances is high that you will recall those kind of information again when you will be drunk or when you will consume alcohol in the future right so this is the concept and question number 8 is the eeg recording during the deepest stage of sleep feature large amount of which of the following wave forms your option alpha wave beta wave gamma wave theta wave and delta wave can you guess the answer the correct answer is delta wave delta wave was first identified and described in the early 90s after the invention of the electroencephalogram allowed researcher to look at brain activity during sleep so we use electroencephalogram uh, to study sleep uh, or study activity uh, when individual will be in sleep question number 9 which of the following are is transform the basic sensory information into recognizable auditory information and your options are auditory association area broca area vernicle area and fourth one is none of the above and the correct answer is auditory association area because the auditory association area which is located directly below the primary auditory cortex transform basic sensory uh, information such as noise or sound into recognizable auditory information such as words or music so the correct answer is auditory association area right so this is the correct answer fine question number 10th sensory fill in the blank is the tendency of the sensory receptor to respond less and less to a constant stimuli and your first option is adaptation second option is spectrum third option is perception fourth option is stimulation and the fifth option is threshold and the correct answer is 
adaptation. Sensory adaptation is the tendency that our sensitivity tend to decrease over time to an unchanging stimulus. I hope all these questions that I have uh, presented here uh, will help you out right to understand the pattern and type of the questions right. So all the best wish you luck for the examination.